All right, I've already showed you how to create documents in Word and Excel, and Heather has showed you how to create documents in PowerPoint using the Windows Live Office web apps. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to edit them. We'll open up my Internet Explorer, and I am going to sign in to my Windows Live account. And in just a second, it'll open up my Windows Live homepage here. And I will go right up here in the top in our little bar to the Office section, and I will select your documents, in other words, my documents. And we see that I have those shared documents here that I went ahead and created and showed you how to share also. And now we're going to edit them. We'll start with the chart of sales. This is an Excel document, and you'll see that we can edit in the browser, or because I have Excel on this machine, I can open it up in Excel. Now, if I want to open it up in Excel and edit it, I have all the full capabilities of Excel, and when I save it, it will update and save all of the changes that I make to this copy, which is stored online. But that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at editing them in the browser. This is great because if I'm in a, a public location, I'm on a computer that doesn't have Excel on it or, or Microsoft Office at all, it doesn't matter. I can still go ahead, go to my Windows Live, open this thing up, and edit it in the browser. So let's do that. I'm going to click on there, and while it's pulling up, I want to tell you, you do not have, unfortunately, the full capabilities of Excel that you would as if you had it installed. But we have a lot of great things, a lot of things that we can do. I have a simple chart of sales here, and uh, I want to do some totaling. So what do I do? I go ahead, I put my cursor down here, I select this cell, and I look for my auto sum, and I'm not finding it anywhere. And you're thinking, well, that's okay. I'll go to insert, and I will insert a formula, and I see that that's not there either. Now you're like, oh no, what am I going to do? Well, you can still go ahead and simply write out your formulas if you know what they are. Just like that. Now, you can also, see it's up there, grab your fill handle and autofill with your formulas as well. And this is why if you've watched any of my Excel training, I always emphasize it's great that you can go ahead and insert those functions, but it really helps you to know how to write even just simple formulas so that you understand the syntax and what is needed. Now, we can also go ahead and format this as a table. How do I do that? I go to my insert, click on table, and see that it gives me all the formatting. I have my filters and I have the ability to sort as well. Great stuff. We have a lot of these type of controls, font and alignment, sort and filter, of course, table options, insert rows and columns. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and create a chart. Let's do that. We'll select our data. Go to my Insert tab. I'm going to create a simple column chart like that. There you go. And when my chart is selected, I have all of my chart layout tools as well. So pretty good stuff. Great things to you, that you can do with Excel. And it's just that simple to go ahead and edit your documents with your Microsoft Office web apps this is our excel web app and we want to save this now and we go where's our little save icon never fear go to file and look at that we see the question where is the save button what happened to it well when i click there we see that in the excel web app there is no save button because your workbook is being saved automatically how great is that any changes that you make are going to be there for you when you come back. So we're simply going to say, okay, we're going to close this document. Brings us back here. And now let's go ahead and let's open up a Word document. And we'll see here again that we have not the full capability of Word, but a lot of things like, for example, I can go and apply my styles.
to any document, which is great because the styles are awesome. And if you, again, if you've seen any of my word training, you know how much I love using styles and how great they are, especially if you're working with longer documents. And just that simple. Now, I can also go ahead and insert an image picture or clip art. Let's go to our pictures. I'm going to choose a picture of our CEO, Mauricio Fisher. There we go. And when I select it, I do get a tab for picture tools, which there we go. Unfortunately, does not give me a lot of things that I can do with this picture, but I can basically just make it bigger or smaller. But again, like I said, not the full capabilities of Word, but many of the basic things that you would be looking for all of your font options your paragraph options and again styles and even spell check now for some reason and i'm not exactly sure why and maybe the good folks at microsoft can tell me one of these days we do have a save button in word that we didn't have in excel why it just didn't save automatically in word i don't understand but regardless we're going to save that document and close it now, I don't have a PowerPoint document nor a notebook, a OneNote notebook to edit, but they work the same way. You can just simply open, edit them in browser, and you will have a lot of the most common functionality, not the entire thing, so that you can go ahead and edit those documents anywhere from any computer. As long as you have an internet connection, you can get into your Windows Live account. All right, and that's how you edit documents with your Microsoft Office 2010 web apps. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.